Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Bryn and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to deploy your Node.js apps to Heroku. So for those of you who don't know, Heroku is a cloud-based platform that allows you to use their servers to run and deploy your applications. Now we're going to be using a Node.js application, but they also allow you to use Java, uh, PHP, Ruby on Rails, and uh, a variety of other platforms. So if you're interested in those, uh, you'll have to find another tutorial. <laughs> now, in order to get started with this tutorial, you're going to need a few things. The first is you're going to need a Heroku account, so you can get that at heroku.com. You're also going to need uh, Node.js and Git installed on your computer. So full disclosure here, I'm going to be walking you through the getting started with Node.js on Heroku tutorial that is actually uh, already on their website. But if you are uh, better at reading than you are at viewing and listening to me, go ahead and just follow that. That should give you all the information you need. However, if you're a visual or audible learner, uh, go ahead and stick with me. Once you have your Heroku account uh, all set up, which is free, by the way, to uh, for trial purposes, uh, go ahead and log in and you will be presented with a dashboard similar to this. What we want to do is click on the get started uh, with Node.js uh, link right in the middle here. This is going to take us to the introduction that I talked about previously that you can follow uh, by yourself. I want you to click on setup here and you are going to download and install the Heroku tool belt uh, for your operating system. In my case, it's uh, Mac OS X. Once the installer is downloaded, I want you to go ahead and open it up and go ahead and install that application. Awesome, so once that's done installing, go ahead and close out of the installer, open up a terminal window, and now you should have access to typing in Heroku, hit enter. Uh, the first time you run this command, it's going to download all the dependencies and stuff like that and get everything set up for you. So it won't be as instantaneous as what I just did, but it'll just take a minute or two to finish installing. So once everything has installed correctly, I want you to go ahead and log into Heroku using the terminal. To do that, you type in Heroku login. Um, it's gonna ask you for your email address, in my case, Brunarelli at gmail.com, the same as the website. Then the password, go ahead and type that in there. And then you should see that you were logged in. Awesome, so now let's go ahead and get the application that we are going to be deploying to our Heroku server. In our case, we are going to be using the demo application that Heroku uh, is going to provide us. And so we're going to clone that from their GitHub repo. Uh, so what we're gonna do here is just inside of the prepare app, um, you're going to copy this line, the git clone line. And now in your application, you are probably going to want to uh, do a clone from your own repo of whatever application that you have created. So let's go ahead and take a look at the directory that we just cloned so you can kind of compare it to your own. Uh, right now we have about five files and two folders. Let's go ahead and look at the index.js file. And this is the main Node.js application that you've probably written on your own and stuff like that. This is an express application. And basically all it's doing is listening for requests on a specific port. In this case, it's the process environment port. Otherwise it's port 5000. And and when it gets a request, then it is going to render a index page here. So this is just your basic Node.js application. Now let's look at the next file that you're probably familiar with, and that's the package.json file. And this file actually describes your Node.js application uh, to Node. Um, basically, it gives the name of the application, the version, um, any dependencies that it uses, um, the repository that it's located at so we can, uh, we can push it uh, wherever we want to. Um, one of the important things uh, in regards to Heroku is make sure you have the engines filled out with the version of Node that you're using. In this case, it's a very old version of Node, but since we're doing something so simple, it doesn't really matter. Um, and so this is what Heroku will use uh, when running your application. Now, the next file we're going to look at is something you may not be familiar with, with and that is the proc file, and this is specific to Heroku. Um, and a proc file basically tells Heroku what kind of server it is going to be running and then what commands it needs to run in order to launch your application. So let's take a look at what's inside this proc file. 
inside all you see is a text file basically the first is the type of server that is going to be running and of course here you see it's a web server followed by a colon and then space and this is where you're going to execute the commands to run your application in our case it's node index.js to launch our node.js application now it's important that if you are not using the demo application that you create this file in your own project inside the root directory. It's capital P R O C file with no extension and include this information here. Of course, yours may be labeled uh, server.js or something uh, else similar. Uh, so just go ahead and change that. So make sure it's web colon space in the node and your main node.js application file name. Next, uh, let's go ahead and look at the app.json file, another one you may or may not be familiar with. This describes your application to Heroku, uh, basically again with a name, description, repository, and so on and so forth. Uh, this is also in the future where you can store environment variables. So this is another file that you may have to create uh, inside your root directory, and that again is the app.json file. Now, if you want to configure the app.json file a little more in depth, you may want to check out the Heroku website, uh, go to their references, their dev center, and check out app.json schema. And this will tell you what every um, you know option that can be configured uh, can do. So you can see here we can uh, configure the repository logo, uh, different environment variables, uh, add-ons, and so on and so forth. So go ahead and check that out. So that's great. These other two folders are basically just uh, used as templating for our uh, Node.js application and that is beyond the scope of this tutorial. That's actually creating your Node.js application itself. We're just talking about deploying. So once you have all your files necessary to deploy to Heroku, which includes the proc file, the app.json, uh, the index or server.js, your main Node.js uh, Node application, and your package.json file, we are ready to deploy. Okay, so I want you to go ahead and open your terminal window and navigate to your project's root directory. In my case, that is inside the documents folder, and I'm gonna check here. And inside the documents folder, it's in the node.js getting started folder. Or we can check we're in the right directory by typing ls and seeing the files available. Now to create our application on Heroku, we are going to type in Heroku create and then give it a name. In my case, it's going to be Brent Arelli, um Demo and hit enter. Now this will create a application on Heroku uh, called Brent Arelli Demo and also create a Git remote on Heroku so we can push our local Git repository uh, to Heroku for deployment. Now all that is left to do is go ahead and push our local repository, our local project to Heroku. We do that by saying uh, git push Heroku master. Now this should go ahead and upload all of the project files in your project directory up to Heroku. Now we can go ahead and test our application by typing in Heroku open, which should open up a web browser. Otherwise you can just open up the web browser yourself, navigate to whatever you named your project .herokuapp.com and you should be presented with it. So we totally did it. We have deployed our Heroku app. And if you're wondering, this is the app we deployed. So if you check out your Heroku dashboard, you should see your project listed here. And then you can adjust and play around with the settings. You can check out activity, request or restrict access, uh, check out your metrics and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah. One more thing you may wanna do is to run your application locally and Heroku also lets you do that. Uh, first off, you'll need to install the dependencies if you're following along with this tutorial and don't already have your dependencies installed locally. We do that by being in the root directory and typing npm install that looks at your package.json file and of course installs everything. In this case, I've already done it. So what we can do is type in NP, uh, Heroku local web and that should go ahead and start up a web server and it, the first time you run it, it probably has to install uh, the web server and then it will run it. And so if you can see here that my node application is running on port 5000, so we can go ahead and go to 
localhost 5000. And there we go, we've run our application locally. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you guys learned something. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and post them below. I'm pretty good about getting back to everybody. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. But more importantly, uh, if you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon page. I give you two big thumbs up for that. Uh, that's what helps support this channel and keeps me making cool tutorials for you guys. I appreciate everybody watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.